the illusionary comfort zone. What is that? That illusionary comfort zone just messes with you. We are geared towards working the same job over and over and over, but we're not happy. Some of us like our job. There's nothing wrong with liking what you do, but a majority of us are sick and tired of it. We're sick and tired of the nine to five. We're sick and tired of being on that hamster wheel. Well, every it's just going and going and going. And every once in a while, we reach our hand out, grab a paycheck, pull it back in and keep going on the hamster wheel. But then we complain about it. But what are you doing about it? Nothing. Well, I don't know what else to do. I need to depend on this. Well, yeah, you can depend on that temporarily. Nothing says that you cannot start a business while bringing an income on the side. You bring that income on the side to pay your bill while you're building up your business over here. Online businesses are so lucrative. How comfortable is the comfort zone if you're out there looking? It's not really that comfortable, is it? So now we run back to that comfort zone and a few days later, we're back to what? Complaining. And we do nothing. And you're looking and you're looking and you find great opportunities. And every time you do, you run back to that comfort zone. You think, oh, finances. Oh, this. Oh, I don't know if I can. You know what? Nobody wants to be around that. And that's the basic question. What do you want to do? Figure out what it is you want to do it and do it. It's like being at the edge. You got a little bungee cord on there and and you're at the edge and you just stand there and stare. Oh, what are you going to do? Don't make me come over there and go, go. Just do it. This is a huge experience life. Get out there and experience it. If you want financial freedom, this is what we really want. We want the financial freedom. I want to be able to go in a store and say, I like that. I think I'll get that. And not worry about, well, let me go check. Am I, does that mean I'm eating tuna fish for two weeks? You know, this is the part where we're trying to break away from. We can still keep our job in the beginning. Make sure our bills are paid, but you have to start somewhere. Don't just sit on your laurels. Don't sit in there and complain. Nobody wants to hear that crap. We all don't like it. But here's another thing. When you go and and you complain and complain, as as I had a company before, when somebody would complain to me, one of the first things I'm going to ask him is, well, what solution do you have? Did you come up with a solution? Give me your ideas. I got nothing. I'm just here to complain. Well, I don't need to hear it. I'm too busy right now. When you have a solution to the problem that you're bringing to me, now we can talk. If you're out there looking for something and looking for a better job and looking for more income and you're looking for that financial freedom, what are you doing about it? What solutions do you have? You know, what's the biggest pain that you can go through? You make a mistake. And what happens when you make a mistake? You learn. And what happens when you learn? You get better. Everybody who's successful always has a mentor. Everybody. So when we're doing our Amazon business, we're going to start to learn things. And one of the things we're going to learn is how to niche down. So I'm going to share my screen with you on something. I found recently, I found this cool product. Okay. It's an inflatable dock. Now, my numbers here look amazing. This is like almost the perfect product. You, as you can see, they cost a lot of money. Now, this is a high ticket item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find on Alibaba how much it costs and how much. But this is too expensive for me. It's too high for my budget. So I want to learn how to niche down. So I'm going to go to my favorite is Helium 10. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to find something that maybe I can find something a little bit less or Helium 10 may throw a different product at me. And I'm going to go take a look because I'm always going to be curious. So right now it's at 5,120. Okay. There's a lot of keywords down here. I need to break it down. So always the first thing I do is I'm going to put in my criteria of 5,000 to 20,000. And I'm going to try to niche down this thing because it's way too expensive, although it does look good. So now I'm down to 64. It may it looks like a bigger ticket item because it is a board, but it may be better. We're going to go over here and take a look and look at their prices and see if it's a little bit better. These kind of look like they're going to be expensive. Oh, yeah, that's way too expensive. So what am I going to do? I'm going to close it out and say next. So I'm going to come back to my uh, magnet and I'm going to type because I see that there's a lot of inconsistency. So I'm going to do a float raft. Now, I may not pull up any uh, good criteria, but I'm going to find one, something that fits in there. And I'm going to start looking at inflatable lounger. Okay, this is probably a seasonal because it's in the summertime. A poodle noodle, poodle noodles jumbo. (laughs) But poodle noodle, that's a trademark. So I want to be careful not to infringe on somebody. Okay, Uh, pool float storage, inner tube for river. Oh, inner tube for river. That could be something. Uh, okay, let's go take a look and see how much the prices are. Hey, look at these. Yeah, I've got $30. These are pretty cool. I like these. That's pretty cool. So now I've went from an inflatable dock down to a river tube. 
And and some of these are really cool. I like the fact that it has this little backing in it, and, and it's pretty cool. Now, obviously, River Run is a brand name, but these are generic things. These are generic tubes that you can use. Look, other people have different names on it. They've branded it themselves. These are just little tubes for riding down the river or going in the ocean. So this is how we niche down from the bigger products, more expensive to working within our budget, bringing it down a little bit lower, and then we can find better prices. To start off with, we want to x-ray our product. We want to take a deep dive into it. We want to see what the numbers look like. We want to see who's selling. I have eight and three. Yes, these still look good. I'm selling over a million in sales. So I want to go check it out. And like I said, it's probably seasonal and our graph will tell us that it's seasonal. So if I'm going by the year, it's going to tell me all last year, it was all the way down here and I don't want to see that. But during my summertime, it's really high. So if I'm into doing seasonal products, this would be a great product to sell. But if it wasn't seasonal, we still want to go and check and see how much can I get it for? I can get it for a buck 80 to $3. I can sell it for 30, 40 bucks. This is a good product. So get up off your tush and, and let's go for it. There's nothing stopping you. The only thing stopping you from moving forward and doing the things you want and looking for that financial freedom is you.